Hey everybody, Sojin here. I'm here to talk about none other than the PS5. I want to first talk about the most important thing that we were hoping for, at least I was hoping for. When they announced that the PS5 would be backwards compatible, I was pretty excited. I'm like, cool, that means I can pretty much get rid of my PS4 and play all my PS4 games on one console. That's awesome, including PS5 games. But... It's like one of those commercials where they're like, yeah, man, you get truly unlimited data for your phone plan, but we're going to cap you off after three gigabytes and slow you down. It's like, that's not truly unlimited data. It's the same thing with the PS5. They did mention that it will be backwards compatible with PS4 games, but not every single PS4 game. In fact, on PlayStation.blog, they mentioned the following. Lastly, we're excited to confirm that the backwards compatibility features are working well. We recently took a look at the top 100 PS4 titles as ranked by playtime. Ooh, this is not good. And we're expecting almost all of them to be playable at launch on PS5. Expecting, meaning they're not sure. With more than 4,000 games published on PS4, we will continue the testing process and expand backwards compatibility coverage over time. So basically what they're saying there is that Each individual game is being added or coded in to the PS5 based on what the majority of people who have PS4 systems connected to the internet are playing. So those who have internet on their PS4 and they're playing their games, you were more than likely tracked by Sony to see what the majority likes to play. And so based on that, I can only conclude that they're only going to pick maybe a couple hundred games, not a lot. So what this means is is most PS4 games are not going to be able to be played on your PS5. A simple solution could have been that they could have added an onboard chip that makes it so that it could read and play all PS4 games. My solution at this point is just keep your PS4. If you have a large library of PS4 games and you're not 100% sure that the PS5 is going to be able to even play them, just keep your PS4. Save some extra money and just buy the PS5 outright. Now we move on to the storage. Oh boy, the storage. This gonna be an interesting one it's it's a double-edged sword according to the video and this asmr dude i'm just gonna call him asmr dude i mean just listen to the sound of his voice development of the console so soothing that sounded really gay anyway according to this guy the ps5 is going to have an onboard ssd what this means is it's a solid state drive basically a non-movable part hard drive or hard disk drive is are those things with the spinning metal discs and meanwhile ssd means there are no moving parts so that means this is going to last a lot, lot longer. But onboard SSD, that means it is soldered on board to the actual motherboard. So in order to change this out, you need to know what you're doing and you need to find a compatible onboard SSD to swap it out with. But they do have some extendable storage, which I'll go over shortly. But the onboard SSD is 825 gigabytes it's not much i wish they would have started at least at one to two terabytes but it's supposed to be blazing fast like i'm talking so fast that there will be very little to absolutely no loading times that's gonna be insane so i gotta say that's that's pretty good it's not terrible at least it's not 500 gigabytes so 825 gigabytes uh, i'll take it i guess as far as the expandable storage they decided to go with a very expensive option m.2 storage q linus from linus tech tips heavy breathing anyway apparently they're going to be releasing a compatibility list for m.2 storage within the next few months or so apparently not every m.2 storage will be compatible but yeah maybe if you're linus from linus tech tips or very wealthy this is this is gonna be expensive however i did see online recently on amazon i'll do i'll do my best to leave links in the description below for everything i'm mentioning here today but i did recently look it up and on amazon they currently have a one terabyte m.2 ssd on sale for 170 dollars when it normally goes for 299.99 basically it normally goes for 300 dollars, but it's on sale for 170 so that's really good it's still expensive though my personal solution though is just get a one terabyte ssd samsung Cuvo, which is currently going for $110 on Amazon, or a 2 terabyte SSD Samsung Cuvo for $230, which is a lot better in my opinion. However, you will not be able to install those into the system itself. But here's my solution to this. You 
You can simply buy an enclosure, an SSD or hard drive enclosure for $10 on Amazon. Again, links for all this stuff will be in the description below. So with the enclosure, including the SSD, you're good to go because these enclosures actually come with USB 3.0. So as long as you have your external SSD, I think you'll be fine. And if you're willing to spend that money, which is actually pretty cheap compared to other SSDs, I gotta say I'd go with that option. A Cuvo SSD Samsung, one terabyte goes for $110, plus the enclosure, that's $120 alone. If you go with the two terabyte SSD Samsung Cuvo, I'm gonna keep saying that a lot, even though I'm not sponsored by them. Come on, Samsung, give me a sponsorship. Anyway, roughly $246 with the enclosure. With all that being said, you're gonna be spending a good amount of money. The next thing he mentions that I noticed is HD audio. If you don't know much about HD audio, just search HD audio and how it works on YouTube. I'm not gonna leave any links in the description below. I'm not truly a fan of HD audio. I don't really care for it. But if you are an HD audio enthusiast and it's important to you, I highly recommend purchasing some good headphones or even some good speakers, but you're gonna be spending a lot of money to use the HD audio to its fullest. Your best bet is just get a decent headset, but it's cool that it has it. Now, as far as the price for this system, there's no concrete price. Do not take my word for this. I simply just Googled PS5 price and this is what I saw and you're more than likely gonna see the same exact thing. The top result said, speaking to Bloomberg, capital analyst Damien Thong estimates that the PS5 price will land around $470. That means that's just an estimation. We don't know exactly how much it's going to be, but I guarantee it, if it's gonna be around $470, they're probably gonna try to shoot for $500, maybe $480, I don't know. Here's my conclusion. Number one, you should keep your PS4 because you're not guaranteed to be able to play every single PS4 game that you have on that PS5. However, if you don't have a large PS4 library and if you're able to play all the games on the PS5 when you get it, then yeah, go ahead and sell your PS4 if that's what you feel like doing. However, with me, of course, the second thing is get an SSD on Amazon with an enclosure. Links will be in the description below for all that stuff, including the M.2 SSD that I mentioned for 170 bucks, which isn't bad for an M.2. Number three, get yourself a good headset for your HD audio. I can't really give a proper rating because the price is still up in the air. It still hasn't fully released yet. They're still working on some things, but as it currently goes right now, if it releases from $470 to $500 with the way it's currently going right now, I have to give it a seven out of 10, but it's not a solid rating on it. This system could easily be a 10 out of 10 if they had the option to upgrade to a normal SSD and not M.2. Or keep the M.2 additional feature, but also make it so that you can upgrade the SSD and not just have an onboard SSD, if that makes sense. If it was also 100% backwards compatible, plus the price being decent, around 450 bucks or so, I would give it a solid 10 out of 10. At least we got our ASMR dude here who gave us all this information, so it wasn't all that bad. But guys, let me know what you think in the comments below, what you plan to do, whether you plan on buying one and what you plan to do when you buy one. Are you just gonna be using an external hard drive or an external SSD or what you're gonna do with the PS5, what you're gonna do with your PS4? Just let me know in the comments below. Thumbs up this video if you like it. If you don't like it, you can thumbs it down, but please tell me below why you don't like this video. It'll help me out a lot so I can work on my content and make it better for you guys. Go ahead and subscribe to see more videos and go ahead and hit that bell icon if you want to be the first to see when I upload, especially when I stream and such, because I do stream on the PS4. I'm mostly focusing on Kingdom Hearts games right now, my Zelda The Minish Cap series for the Game Boy Advance, but that will change once I get through all the Kingdom Hearts games. I will be playing other games like God of War and so on. I'll be more open after I get through all the Kingdom Hearts games to play any other PS4 games. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter, Sojin underscore Netos. You can even follow my girlfriend at Cami Blaze for updates and such on when I stream and when I'll be uploading stuff. You can even go to patreon.com forward slash Sojanetos if you want to donate. You can donate as little as $5 a month or more. There are different tiers. And of course, most importantly, guys, stay safe, stay clean. Please wash your hands and make sure you remain indoors as much as you can. I know it's hard to remain indoors, but at least for now, until they come up with some sort of vaccine, play all those games that you haven't been able to play for a long time because of all the work you've had. I mean, just take it with a grain of salt. Things will get better, guys. Be optimistic. Have a safe one. Have an awesome one. And bye-bye.